Hi everybody, my name is Sunil. I work with Cisco TAC WAN Access Team. Uh, in this video, I will discuss about performing hard loop tests on Cisco T1E1 cards. So here is one of my lab device where I have an HP 2 c one T1 PRI card uh, in, in which I have configured in E1 mode. So the first step in performing the loopback test is to create a loopback cable. So for creating the loopback cable, we need to cut a standard RJ45 cable and we need to short pin numbers 1 and 4 and pin numbers 2 and 5. So once you've done that, the loopback cable will look like this and uh, you need to plug it into the T1E1 port. So the first thing you need to ensure while performing the loopback test is that we need to have an encapsulation HPLC. So the loopback test won't be working in any other encapsulation. So we need to ensure that uh, the interface is in uh, encapsulation HDLC. So I'll show you it in my lab device. So once we have the loopback cable plugged into the T1 or E1 port, and uh, we configured encapsulation HDLC, the interface will be in up upload state. You can see it here. So once we see the interface in up up loop state, we need to perform uh, extended loop extended pin test on the interface. So for that, we need to do ping IP address and do a self pin on the interface. You can select the repeat count as thousand and the datagram says as 1500 extended commands yes you need to make sure you perform this test using different patterns for example 0x000, 0x000 then 0xfffff or 0x4040 like this we need to uh, do the test with different data patterns Make sure the ping is 100% successful. Then you need to have a look at the interface status. So we can see there are no errors under the interface, uh, no drops, or two drops, oh, and reliability is 255 out of 255. As I mentioned, you need to make sure you uh, you perform the test with different data patterns. And if the pings, a ping is hundred percent successful in all the data patterns, that means there are there is no issue with the router hardware. In this case, we may need to work with the telco or the service provider normally. Here is a reference Cisco CCA URL which explains performing hard loop test on the E1 lines. I hope this session was informative and thanks for your time.